Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Father Glock. It is the morning of day three. I've got a couple of skill points to spend this morning, so let's go over to perks. I'm going to put one into Iron Gut, which is going to reduce our food and water loss by 10%. And I'm going to put the other point into Pack Mule, which is going to open up seven more spaces in our backpack. Okay, I've got some cobblestone on me this morning, so let's start upgrading the church we got to get this place upgraded before horde night uh, and then we got to start working on the second portion of the base too in the event they break through the hatches and i got a feeling they might break through the hatches uh, so we still got a good amount of work to do to the base which is fine we got time uh, when we're done here though we're gonna go do this job for trader hugh this morning we also need to mine a bunch of iron today now, I did find an iron ore in one of the last the previous episodes, but I didn't mark it on the map like a fucking idiot. So um, uh, I did put three blocks down, but that doesn't help me any. I don't remember where I put those down at. So anyway, uh, let's go do this job. And if we can find those three blocks, great. Otherwise, hopefully we can just find another ore of iron and we'll mark it on the map this time. Shit. That's not what we want to see. I know it seems nice that we're getting all these different resources in one place, but that's not what I'm looking for. I explained this in episode one, I believe, but I'll go over it one more time real quick in case you missed it. When you're looking for ore veins, you got to hit these rocks here, and what you're looking for is just to get stone and one other resource, not four of these different resources like we're getting here. This is not good. What we want to see is just stone and iron, and that would be an indicator that there's iron veins underneath the rock. So we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's the job. Hey, a passing gas. That's good, because we still need a wrench. A little bit of gas. A uh, broken down motorcycle. That's cool. Oh, we can search it. Nice. Let's see what we got in here. Mining helmet. I'll sell that. Uh, we got a wolf across the street. Probably should do something about that. Plus, you know, meat. So that's good. Let's search the bike again, because I'm a double looter, baby. Huh. Scrap iron shovel. We'll replace our stone shovel with that. And, uh, let's get up on this roof before, uh, I shoot this fucking wolf. Um, that's fine. I can get up there, right? Yep. Okay, let's piss it off. Oh, shit. Dropped it. Well, that's cool. Uh, oh, I can't... I can't go get it yet. Duh, I gotta stay within the area because I, <laughs> I activated the job. All right, well, let's do this job real quick then. And we'll go get that wolf. Come on out of here, zombies. Um, you know, I was just saying that I needed a wrench or needed to find a wrench. We can craft one because we did find the schematic, but we need forged iron. And to get forged iron, or to be able to craft forged iron in our forge, we need to craft an anvil first. And to craft an anvil, we need like a thousand iron. And that is the reason why we need to mine a bunch of iron today. Water, let's actually drink that red tea, since we're pretty full, and I believe the red tea um, gives us a little bit of a, a slowdown in terms of how fast our hunger drains. It doesn't last for long, but every little bit helps. Ooh, there's a weapons bag up here. Nice, look at that. You know, I said I was going to go through all the weapon parts we found. I still haven't done that yet. Oh, you sneaky fuck, I see you up there. Oh, dead. That's some ammo, cloth boots, and six first aid bandages. Gotta love the loot in Darkness Falls. Um, 
I'm gonna keep the scrap boots on. Let's repair these padded boots, though. I'll sell those. You know, I know this mod is much more difficult than vanilla, but the loot rewards uh, make it worth it. What is this book here? Butchering tool schematic. You know, I thought this was something that you had to craft. It's not. It just, it, it gives you uh, levels towards that perk. Oh shit, football player. I haven't seen one of these guys in a little bit. They took the football player out of Alpha 20, didn't they? The bastards, I don't know why they would. It's such a great zombie. The fact that football players are always runners, you know what I mean? What you got for me, Hugh? Scrap, chest, armor, hunting rifle. We already got a hunting rifle. Let's go chest armor. We don't have any. Right? I don't think we do. And let's do another job. This clear zombies is close. Do that. Nice. All right. Yeah, we didn't have chest armor. Good. Um, Let's sell a few things while we're here. I don't have much, but a few things. We might have to stop home and unload or put down storage somewhere. Um, again, with these weapon parts, I don't want to start selling them just yet. Alright, uh, let's grab another job from the White River Scout. Nothing there that I need. Um, what? Oh shit, we already have a job for her, don't we? Yeah, I took it last night. And we just never did it. The man-eater. Alright, let's go uh, get that done. And we can mine some iron, hopefully, while we're out there doing that. Dead and chicken. My chicken sense went off. It's like Spidey sense, but just for chickens. There we go. All right, see, we're just getting iron and stone from this rock, which means there is iron veins underneath. Let's check this one. Yes, the same. Perfect. And there's a wolf over there. That's fun. Um, maybe we should get up on this rock, deal with that wolf. Hey, another shotgun. And some leg armor. Let's bring that shotgun down, as a matter of fact. I got three down here. Um, I don't have any pipes to repair it, but that's alright. We can at least get a shot or two out of it. Let's get up here. And let's start with the bow. Maybe we can drop it in one, just like we did the other wolf. Beautiful. Look at that. Chicken! Oh, I'm a fucking surgeon with this thing. Man. Between the bow and these machetes, I don't think we even need guns. Come here, lady. Choppity chop. Holy shit. All right. Uh, I don't want these bandages. I do want some apples, though. Nice. Let's grab this chicken. Now, I would like to plant an apple tree by the church. Do I have to make apple seeds out of the apples to do that? Yeah, seems that way. Let me just try chopping this down. Because you know how you get tree seeds from other trees. Let's see if we get anything. Nope. Got another wolf. Watch, this time I won't drop it in one shot since I'm on foot. God, if you're listening. Damn it. Um, all right, we can always run back to that rock if we need to. There we go. See, God's always listening. All right, I'm not going to dig down to the veins just yet, so let's go ahead and mark this area on the map. We'll go save waypoint. We'll use this icon here and just call it iron. Good. We'll come back for it. Let's go do the man-eater quest for now. Ah, here's the icon hiding in this tree right here. All right, 
Bring on the men. Time to break up this sausage party. Good lord, that was a lot of fun. Got a couple of loot bags here. Plastic parts and a bandana. And there's a bear over there. Attacking a zombie. Oh, we got a cigar, that's right. Okay, we'll scrap the bandana. Let's not catch the bear's attention because I don't think I can take that thing out with one shot. So, uh, okay, just wanted to make sure we were done with this job. Let's get the hell out of here. Look, who needs your own farm when your neighbors have a farm and you can just rob their farm because who gives a shit? I mean, they're not gonna say anything, they're all dead. Look at this, a drive-in. I haven't been to this POI yet. It's a pretty big town. We haven't explored much of it. There's definitely a lot to check out. I'm waking zombies up. We are uh, pretty encumbered. So we should probably just push right through this place. We got all sorts of zombies following us. And it looks like we're fenced in here. I do have frames on me, so we can just pull over the wall if we need to. Let's take care of these birds. Boop! And boop! Man, we got a bunch of zombies, huh? Alright. We're gonna have to deal with them. Well, we don't have to, but I want to. Man, knife guy is so overpowered, holy shit. And we're gonna make it even better. Let's put another point into Knife Guy. Bam. Sweet. Let's put another point in the Pack Mule also. It won't be so encumbered. Oh, I can't. You need two points to go into Pack Mule again. Uh, alright. Let's hold on to that point then. And since those other zombies lost interest, I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. I mean, I'd like to loot this place, but since we're so encumbered right now, we'll come back another time. Blade Trap Schematics, two of them. We'll read one, scrap the other one. Uh, I'll take the battery and the headlights. Man, this really is a nice sized town. We need to get our hands on a vehicle. Now, obviously, uh, if we would have went into the mechanic class, we could have been crafting vehicles already, probably, but we went laborer instead. Um, so I'm not sure what it's going to take for us to be able to craft vehicles. I'm going to bring this shovel down. Um, if we can find the mini bike book for dumb shits, that would be great. So a crack a book would help out a lot. Um, and of course, if we bang out enough jobs for the trader, he'll just give us a bike. They'll give us a mini bike too, but obviously a bicycle first. So we'll just, uh, you know, we'll keep an eye out for the mini bike book, and at the same time, we'll keep banging out jobs for Hugh. There's a better pickaxe, we'll bring that down. And things will move along here. It's a bit slow in the beginning, as it is with any series, you know, while you kind of wait to get a vehicle so you can get more shit done during the day. Let's take care of these zombies before we go inside. Waking them up. Let's go ahead and read these schematics. We got the motion sensor and the power doors and draw bridges. Treasure map. That'll be the second one we have marked on the map because we already started digging one up but haven't broken into it yet. Uh, we need more lock picks. There's another uh, power doors and drawbridge schematic. More electrical parts. More electrical parts. We're going to have enough electrical parts for the rest of the series after we're done here. Hey, there's a book. Athletics. Okay, got to read this from the hot bar. There we go. We're uh, level 20 with our athletics skill. Let's read this map here got uh 
Another one to the east. That's kind of far out there. Might have to wait till we get a vehicle to go get that. And like I said, more lock picks. I haven't seen any candy yet, so I don't know if that's been taken out of Darkness Falls, or maybe it's just more rare, which would make sense because candy is kind of overpowered, you know? Fucking 100 bucks for a piece of candy that completely removes all fall damage. So, uh, we'll see. If we can find some Jailbreaker candy, great. If not, then we just gotta rely on our lockpicking skill, I guess. Or, get an auger. Okay, let's read this sensor schematic, scrap the other one, read the switch schematic, and the dart trap schematic. Oh, hey lady. Busted out of the bathroom? Good, just in time for me to kill you. Hey, there are some lockpicks. Nice. Because there's quite a few things we need to lockpick. The treasure, the new second treasure that we just read, the gun safe at Trader Hughes, and the locked chest back in the basement of the church we still haven't broken into. All right, how are we looking up here? Got the main stash, got a bird, a couple zombies. Let's take the bird out. Dead. Damn! These fucking arrows pack a walloping, holy shit. Sent that one zombie flying off the roof. Probably should have closed that hatch. Couple of vitamins, uh, let's do that. I know there are a bunch of zombies down there trying to break in. Don't need them sneaking up behind me. Nice, there are some better gloves than the ones we're wearing. So we'll, uh, scrap the shitty ones. Stun baton. I'll bring that down, why the hell not? I know we're knife guy, but fuck it. I'll mess around with that thing for a little bit. Ah, fuck it. Let's get up close and personal with these bastards. Back up, you fucks. Oh, hold him down the dumpster. Can they jump? I don't think they can even jump up here. It's a beautiful thing. I don't want to jinx it, but we haven't taken any damage today at all. Oh, get out of here. Don't you ruin it for me. Shit, should have reloaded. Oh, bring on the demons. We can't be stopped. Some magnum ammo. Magnum would be nice. Let's not even waste any more 9mm. We we'll just chop up, big boy. Dude. Seriously. Wait till I get my hands on a good knife. I mean, the machete's been treating me well, but it's only a level 12. We need something better. Maybe we don't need anything better. Let's give her the baton. Boop. Hey, Mo. Let's give Mo the baton, too. Yeah, fry, bitch. That ain't bad. That is not bad at all, but it's not going to steer me away from my knife weapons. Ooh, electrical fence post schematic. That's a good one. Nice. Now we need to find the schematic for the basics of electricity and we'll be all good. Nothing in there. All right. We got to stop back home. All right, let's get back to the traders. We got a reward to collect from both Hugh and the White River Scout. Then we'll pick up some more jobs for both of them. Um, we got to dig up more iron because we don't quite have enough yet for the anvil, and I want to get that crafted tonight so we can start crafting forged iron. Hey, What's up, buddy? You did, uh, Wooden bow, we already have one of those. Ooh, a claw hammer. You yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. Um, 
All right, we'll do the fetch quest. Okay, we have it. Let's see what she's got for us. Can I help you? Bunker Buster mod, pipe machine gun. We already have. Uh, let's do the Bunker Buster mod. 15% more damage to stone, and we don't have any mods in our pickaxe yet. Yeah, that's fine. And let's do um, Starving Taurus. Can we haven't done me? that yet. Okay. How we looking here? Starving Tourists is kind of out uh, right here. Let's Maybe we can go do that and dig up some iron at the same time. That'll be good. And then we can get another reward from the uh, White River Scout. Before we call it a day and take another job from her. Um, should probably buy that 762. It's got shotgun shells as well. A tailoring workstation. I don't I don't know what that is. It's got a writing desk, which we can afford. But because we're a laborer, I think I'm going to be able to craft all that stuff. So, let's not spend all of our money on that shit. Let's just, let's just grab ammo. Fuck it. Nope, that's given us too many resources. Alright, when we left the trader, it was just about hour 17. So I'm going to head towards this job for the White River Scout. Look for iron along the way. We should have enough time to get all this done and get back home before nightfall. A couple of eggs. Can make some bacon and eggs tonight. Ah, a few more eggs. Yeah, we'll definitely make some bacon and eggs tonight. Ah, some duct tape. That's good. Here's the job. So let's just get it done. And then we'll start heading back towards the trader and see if we can hopefully find some iron on the way back. God damn. Remember we used to have to beat Big Boy in the head like 18 times in a row with the club to kill him? Now I'm just like fucking slicing him up like a Christmas ham with this machete. This is a good sign right here when the stones are real close together like that. Yes, there it is. Iron, baby. Sweet. Let's mine a bunch and then we'll stop at the traders, get our reward from the White River Scout, take another job for the White River Scout, then we'll get home, we'll call it a day. All right, that's definitely enough to craft the anvil and then some because we're going to need the and then some to craft some forged iron. Anyway, the fucking crickets are chirping. I'm not sure what time it is, so let's just get back to the trader, get a reward, like I said, take another job for the White River Scout, and get the fuck home before all the radiated zombies come out to play. What do we got here? Nail bombs? Okay, you convinced me. I'll take them. Let me get another job, too. We've done all these already, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Can I trust you? Okay, where is that? To the northwest. Nice. Right by this iron. So we can mine some more of that in the morning after we do another job for Trader okay. Hugh. Um, let's see if we can do this. Yes, and we didn't break them all. Oh, very nice. We got ourselves a Glock, dude. Bring that down. They don't call it a Glock because of, you know, legal shit. But that is a fucking Glock if you ask me. Let's take a better look at it with no HUD. Look at that shit. Oh, that's sweet. All right. Let me see. You got any lock picks, Hugh? I don't think so. But I want to double check. No. All right. To do than Let's get home. Hey, buddy, what the fuck were you doing? Climbing up on the wall? Oh, laid him out with this thing. Dropped him. Oh, I'm having too much fun. I am having too much fun. We gotta go. Damn it. Damn it. That was it. All right. I mean, 
I guess I could bang into this thing overnight tonight. I don't know. That's a lot. That's a lot of hit points. I don't think so. Maybe. If I've got extra time tonight, then I'll, I'll at least start cracking into that thing. But first thing we need to do is get this anvil crafting. Um, why is this one so much cheaper to make? Is it, is it, is it only if you have an anvil already? That's probably what that icon means, right? And since we don't have one, we, um, we have to do it this way, which costs more and it takes a lot longer, but we have no choice right now. We got to do it. Uh, oh shit. I need clay. That'll help, right? Here we go. Bam. All right, some bacon and eggs. Good. Get our bellies nice and full. Once that anvil is done, we'll get that into the forge and I'll uh, craft as much forged iron as I can because that is the last job for the laborer class. They want you to craft a baseball bat and I need 30 pieces of forged iron to do that. So I want to get that done. And if we have enough forged iron left over, I'll also craft a wrench. I also need to go through my inventory tonight, get that all sorted, see if we want to sell anything to the trader tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow we're just going to keep cranking jobs out, mine some more iron, and do some more work to the base. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Father Glock, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.